So today we're going to be checking out what could possibly be your first ever robot. Now, we've seen robots in the past, they don't really do too much. You got dancing robots, you got tiny robots that just like squirm around, you know, tiny robots that you can control on your phone. But this is probably going to be your first ever interactive robot that you can talk to today for 270 bucks. Let's check it out. All right, here we go. This is your Q robot. Wander workshop clever together. So this is an interactive robot that you can text, you can talk to, and it'll reply to you. It'll give you faces. Powered by Breakthrough Emote AI, Q is a witty robot with attitude. Share your world with Q as it talks, texts, and laugh with you. Now, these are the different things, different ways you can interact with the actual robot. IR robot interpretation, real-time Bluetooth, programmable LED button, three processors, and sensor fusion. This controls the movement. Ooh, we got one more down here. All right, and there it is. This is your own personal robot. Don't worry, little robot, we're gonna get you out of here. Oh my gosh. There we go, this is Q. Say hello Q. I'm just kidding, his battery is a bit low right now, but we're gonna finish unboxing him. We gotta charge him up for a little bit. So it's a simple micro USB connection over here. You can see there's like a plug. You just insert and you let it charge. Q here needs to chill. While we're waiting for that to happen, we're just going to get the app. Here we go, Q by Wander. This is the one we got. Now, you can see at the bottom, There's this is how the robot actually moves. It has two, you know, forward and backwards motors, and then it has a turning one here at the back. Its head rotates, the power button's over here at the side, and that is it to the actual functionality. There's also a button here at the front. Think about how cool that's gonna be. Soon you're gonna have a robot that can take out your trash. Connect your robot. All right, here we go. Searching for a robot. Ooh, here it is. A robot Q. Ooh. Update. This update may take up to 15 minutes. All right, so another couple of functions that this that this Q drone has other than being your best sassy friend is that it actually helps you code. It teaches you how to use both blocking and JavaScripting, which is something we're gonna be testing out. You can program your robot to do different things. All right, so as you guys can see in the main menu, there's a couple different options. The very first is Wander. Wander is where you test your robot thinking skills and build powerful state machines. There's code where, once again, it teaches you how to code. It's giving us the option to pick one of the four different avatars that were on the box. So we got Charge, Zest, Peep, and Smirk. I'm feeling like going Charge. Everything on here should turn to blue, I believe. Hey, there we go. Okay, you fall off this Ooh, desk, I'm not buying you again. Online. Back online. All right, so let's go through the different options. As we mentioned before, there's Wander, then there's also Code. Next, all right. Looks like we have to go through each one. Code is where we build legit block to text programs to make me do amazing stuff. So once again, that's the whole Java thing. It teaches you how to do stuff. And then last up, you have control is where we race around and do some seriously crazy tricks. Let's take it for a spin. All right, robot control, let's see what happens. Let's do some drive. I swear, if you fall off this deck, I swear. When you click control, there's a couple of things that happen to your app. One, you have a physical control of your actual robot. So you got move around, you got voice commands, you got avoid, explore, seek, and of course you can control the speed. So if you are a beginner, if you are new to this robot, you can choose to go down with a lower speed so that when you do move forward, it doesn't roll off the table right away. So here we go. And oh, oh. all right, let's go forward there, buddy. Ooh. All right, okay, nope, nope. I still do not know how to control it. So if you go sideways, it just turns it around. Sideways again. And of course you got forwards. Ooh, okay. I'm <laughs> on all the time. It does go pretty nice. fast. All right, let's go to the other options. We're gonna click code. We're gonna see what's actually happening with this. Now, there's a bunch of different steps that you have to go through. There's move, show, sound, sense, repeat. All right, so here we go. So what you gotta do to actually interact with this robot, you go through the different settings and you can drag and drop which functions you want to happen when something happens. So 
At the very start, I want this robot to move a distance of 25 forward at the speed of 20. You can interact with it. You can change the number, so how fast and how far you want it to move. 24 centimeters seems safe. Straight forward at a speed of 20% of its maximum power. And then wait two seconds. I want it to go a distance of minus 25. So it should come back to the exact same spot. All right, let's try it. Wait two seconds. Hey! Not bad, not bad. Now, you can get pretty creative with this. Um, it gets more advanced the later on down the steps you go. This is just the beginning move phases. Later on, you can make it make sounds as it gets to a spot. Sense, so if you put an obstacle in the way, it'll go around it and then keep moving forward. Repeat, once again, it's pretty straightforward. You know, if you want to repeat an action, remember what's where. So let's just say I set up a bunch of obstacles and you want it to go around it and want it to remember it, that's what it does. Now, if it also comes to a roadblock, it can decide whether or not to go left or right, depending on what you input. Move with text, so I can say go forward, go back, show with text, and then of course it can transform. I don't really know what the transform is. Light magic, let's get some light magic going. Whoa. Does that look like code? That looks like code. So this is where the coding learn to code functionality comes in, where it teaches you how to actually use Java. All right, let's just see what happens when we click play. So it already has some Java, some Java code typed in here. This is what I believe to control the colors of it. Okay, I just want its face color to change. All right, here we go. Let's try it again. Play. So it moves forward. Did his face change? It's face oh, I swear, don't you dare fall off this table. All right, let's get this control going. We got 100% speed. Go! Time for me to show off Ooh. my artistic talent. Let's start over. So it's there, forward. See you later, alligator. That was my fault. So the avoid functionality of this detects whether or not there's something in the front or back of it, and it'll move accordingly. So Nathan this pointed out, if I put this, so if I put it in front, it'll try to move backwards. All right, so this is a cute robot. I'm not gonna lie, it has a bunch of cool functionality to it. It can move like a normal robot, or it can teach you how to code. For 270 bucks, is it worth it? I'd say no. If you're looking to actually properly learn how to code, I'd highly recommend getting an app on either your laptop or smartphone that teaches you how to code. This is like a fun way to do it. For 270 bucks, I don't think it's worth it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and subscribe if you're new.